Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I talk about plants and pollinators. In this episode, we're especially going to talk about pollinators. Episode? I don't know if they're episodes. Anyways, this is a vlog. I'm going to hunt for um, monarch caterpillar eggs for the first time this year. I've been keeping an eye on monarch... Um, I've been keeping an eye on journeynorth.org to see if there are any other postings reported in my area about monarchs being here or laying eggs and I did notice on the 20th uh, somebody did report a female laying eggs on their property so I am going to run out to our local bike path because um, my milkweed plants also have not come up from last year and my seedlings are really young yet, so I'm gonna go head out to this bike path, which is also partially a protected pollinator habitat. Our city does not mow. And I am going to check out the milkweed there and see if I can find anything. So I'm gonna bring you along with me and uh, yeah, let's go. So whenever I sh hunt for monarchs, I take three basic tools with me. Um, I mentioned these in my uh, like getting ready to raise video, but I like using takeout containers or Tupperware for collecting. Um, and I usually just like line it with paper towel to help keep this clean, because when you cut a stem off of the plant, um, there'll be a lot of sap everywhere, so I kind of just want to keep this container clean. Um, my nails are disgusting, by the way, so sorry about that. I will paint them. <laughs> but, you know, I keep it real around here, kind of a messy messy. But yeah, I'll bring one of these with me, um, and sometimes I'll bring, put them in like a bag, be that like a tote or like a plastic bag, just to carry them in while I go look. So that kind of goes without saying, it's just much easier to do that than just carry this around. I don't know. And then obviously garden shears um, to clip cuttings off with the eggs attached. I will get into that when I am able to find them, but you're also going to want to be able to clean these really well between uses. You might want to even consider getting your own milkweed set if you're serious about this. I really should, I don't, but um, that is something I will have to do. Um, you just want to make sure to clean these really well because the sap is so sticky and it will solidify somewhat and become super tacky on the blade. And then um, that could be a mess. So I just like to clean them off as soon as I'm able to. Um, but yeah, for initial egg collection during the season, I simply grab a Tupperware takeout container with lined with paper towel and some shears. Simple enough and then um, yeah, so I, we're gonna go check out this uh, bike path where I go to look for eggs. Part of it is a protected pollinator garden, so that's pretty cool um, that the city lets somebody do that. So I often go look there and around the area because the city doesn't really mow anyways. So I'm gonna go do that right now and take you guys with me. Hopefully we'll find some eggs. It is also maybe worth mentioning, although this might be common sense. Bullet is here, he wants attention. <laughs> um, I always go out with appropriate footwear, so I wear socks and these are hiking boots, but other shoes work perfectly fine, closed toe shoes. Don't go hunting for caterpillars and eggs in sandals and stuff, cause uh, ticks. Ticks are a thing that can happen cause a lot of milkweed grows in really long grass where ticks would love to catch your eye. So, just worth mentioning, I think. So this is what mature common milkweed looks like. Um, I've had a bunch growing, as you know, but um, once it's established, it's a big plant and they come up from the ground looking like a little fist and they just get taller and open up throughout the season. That was a really bad example. But here's one, there's a bunch all up in here and you can see why I definitely said to <laughs> watch out for ticks. So I'm going to show you how I look for eggs. So 
when I'm looking for eggs, I'm looking at the back of the leaves mainly, but they can be anywhere on the plant. So what I'll do is I'll take a plant by the stem and just kind of turn it over. So look at that. They can lay them anywhere on the plant. Female monarchs, monarchs sorry, prefer to um, lay eggs on younger plants, I found. But it can be anywhere. So I'm checking like all the bottoms of the leaves. Um, this is actually where I found my first egg last year. And that is just sap. Sometimes sap droplets can look like eggs, but it'll, I'll be able to easier show you what an egg looks like when we find one. But yeah, that's just kind of turn the plant around and search that way. Try this one. Nothing there. Here's a good group of plants. Let's see. Oh, there we have it. First egg of the season. I'm so excited. Can you see how it's more like football shaped? And it has tiny ridges if you look at it closely. I'm trying to get close here, but that's what the egg looks like. I'll put a picture to the left so you can see but that's what you're looking for. So yeah, I'm gonna clip this and take it. All right, so that's what it looks like after I cut off the top of the plant. That's why milkweed gives its name, that sticky, milky looking sap. Gotta back this up, sorry. Let's see. And here is my cutting with the egg on it. So I'm gonna check out these other plants as well because mama probably wanted to distribute them across many for better chances of survival so I'm gonna take a look here and see um, I also cut milkweed this way because it will shoot more growth points out and I don't want to just get rid of the plant so um, usually from when I cut just above a node like that um, it'll sprout at least two more heads and create more milkweed so In there. Let's check this plant. Ooh. There's one. You see it? There's another one. where when you've been doing this for a while, milkweed just kind of jumps right out at you. There's a ton right here. I bet Jill finds some eggs in this. But yeah, that's what it looks like when it's shorter. I'll sh definitely show you later in the season how tall this can get. Sometimes it can get up to six feet. Um, but yeah, lots of common milkweed grows along here. So that's pretty cool. So here's what I was talking about before. This is what a milkweed shoot looks up what looks like when it first comes up from the ground. It just gets bigger, wider, and taller over time, just like these guys. Um, not really having much luck in this spot with how much milkweed there is. I'm kind of surprised. I'm gonna probably try one more spot for today and then try again in a couple more days. But yeah. If you are hunting near tracks, um, just be careful. I mean, I don't want anybody to get hurt 
trying to look for caterpillars so um, just be mindful of where you are looking and especially if you're on public property like I am so uh, yeah just keep that in mind all right so there's a ton more here and up here so I'm just gonna finish off this block for today I've got four so I'm trying to make it like a nice number five but if I get more that's fine too but I kind of like to look for them in shifts and not gather a ton at a time. So five is my goal. So I'm going to finish up this block and we'll see what we find. But yeah, we've got a ton more milkweed up around here. It's, it's unbelievable. So an ant on milkweed will absolutely eat eggs. Just so you know. That is why they lay hundreds and spread them out. <laughs> Alright, so I've got everybody home. I only ended up finding five eggs today and I'm going to leave them alone in this container. Um, they'll probably hatch within three to five days, so um, I'm just going to wait and see what happens. I put the ends of the milkweed into water to help keep the plant fresh for the caterpillar because they will need fresh food when they come out. Um, but I will obviously update you when these guys hatch. Um, I have been mentioning that I do bleach milkweed, but I do not do that on the same plant I find the eggs. Some people do, and it's perfectly fine. Um, especially so early in the seasons, there's not likely to be that many pathogens on the milkweed. So I typically... So I typically try to err on the side of caution when it comes to bleaching eggs on milkweed. Um, you're supposed to do it 24 hours after they've been laid, but I have no idea when these were laid. I'm guessing within a couple days, so it's probably safe. But like I said, this time of year there's not many pathogens on the plants, so I don't need to worry too much, but later batches I will be bleaching, and I'll be sure to show you that. So yeah. Um, this is the four we will follow more closely on this channel just so you can see how this all goes down, the whole cycle, everything like that. And I will update you guys as they grow and I can't wait for them to hatch, so. There's one you can see right there. Yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the little bell if you wish to follow along with this series and others leave a comment or question if you have any and uh yeah i will update you guys probably in a few days after this thanks for watching